Water in Hawaii is our most important natural resource. All of the water that we have in Hawaii is groundwater, so we have no other resources for water other than what falls from the sky. We decided that it was very important to have a very robust hydrology research project here at the University of Hawaii. Ikevai is a five-year project which is funded by the National Science Foundation established program to stimulate competitive research, otherwise known as EPSCoR. So this project really has three different areas. It has a, a research component, it has a capacity building component, and it also has an education component. For decades, we've had a pretty simplistic model for how what our groundwater system looks like, which is that the fresh groundwater sits atop salt water. What we found more recently over the last decade or so is that the subsurface geology is more complex than we thought, and we've found that out by drilling into the subsurface geology and looking at the hydrology, and that was one of the key aspects of the EKY project, was to try and understand what the subsurface structures look like and how groundwater reacts to those subsurface structures. What we did to build upon just sampling groundwater in wells is collect samples of precipitation and use that original knowledge of what the original chemistry is and try and trace that to wells, water wells that we sampled in anticipated downflow directions. The second approach is geophysics and geophysics really gets at those subsurface geologic structures and that can tell us about one, where water exists in the subsurface, so we can typically see the water table, and then tells us something about how fresh or saline that water is. My research interests lie at the intersection of geochemistry and coastal hydrology. We have been studying how much of that groundwater exits into the ocean, what is its composition, and what can it tell us about where the water is coming from, and what kind of land use it is flowing under and what kind of chemicals it collects. For example, we have measured groundwater discharge rates along the coastline for two aquifers. And when we compare that groundwater that's discharging to what's recharging the aquifers, it turned out that we cannot account for all the water that recharges, that has to be other pathways for groundwater to flow out then where it was usually expected based on the physical principles of hydrology. So that gave us a clue what has been known by Hawaiians for a while, that there has to be deeper pathways channeling groundwater discharging at greater depths. The EKY uh, project as a whole is very important to understand freshwater resources, specifically to volcanic islands, in an holistic view, taking into account different uh, research discipline combining them to, to get a, an understanding, a full understanding of how the system functions in such a complex uh, geology. In this study, we used a, a specific and novel uh, surface towed electromagnetic system where we basically tow a one kilometer array of instruments on the surface and we generate uh, an electromagnetic uh, wave into the water. Now that wave propagates through the water and into the subsea floor and the returning secondary signal of those electromagnetic fields are recorded within our instruments. And from that data, while we analyze it, we can distinguish or differentiate between basalt structure that are saturated with seawater, which is conductive, to basalt structure, which are saturated with brackish to fresh water, which will give us a, an electrically resistive signal. And this way we can know the differentiation between those layers. It's a key finding, especially in countries that uh, doesn't have the resources for uh, filtering uh, seawater, distillinization. So if you have a resource that is renewable and you use it wisely, you can sustain uh, the needs of the community in a very easy way. My research focuses around the full life cycle of data, from uh, data monitoring in the field of climate variables to data acquisition, data storage, data quality control and quality assurance, also the creation of products uh, like rainfall maps using data that's been collected, the dissemination of data, and then most recently I've taken it a step further and I've worked with end users on how to translate data so they can make management decisions with that data. So over the past several years, we've been developing a tool called the Hawaii Climate Data Portal. And uh, this portal, what it does is it allows us to house all of the telemeter data in Hawaii 
and to organize it in a way that, number one, makes it easy to create uh, gridded products like near real-time rainfall maps and uh, near real-time temperature maps, but also it allows us to provide data uh, with relative ease to end users. Uh, they can visualize data or download data with just a touch of a button. The Hawaii Climate Data Portal is also an educational resource. Teachers can, uh, can access it, students can access it. But really, on, on a fundamental level, what's important is taking this data and translating it to the stakeholder level. A lot of uh, managers in Hawaii, land managers, resource managers, they're faced with these really great challenges of climate change and how to adapt to it. And by providing them locally relevant data and information, they can make the management decisions they need to adapt. Music